I don't know. Do I have to? Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Uh, it was not fully open. All right. And then you press All this. Right. Wait, this. I, I, I think I forgot to press something, right? Or maybe have to wait for the need to heat up. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is all close and I rise and survive. Good. Okay. Same thing. This is all close and I rise and survive. <laughs> is it like same? I don't know. Some reason. Yeah, uh, kind of messy. Messy, yes. Yeah, so. Messy, messy. Messy. Let's do it again. Okay. This is all close till I rise and survive! Where are you? Huh? Where are you? Today we want to meet someone. Okay. Uh, we just want to meet again. But she's a good friend of our friend too. And yeah. Uh, Dia ni kiranya macam sebab since Nabil terpaksa balik awal which is too esok Jumaat So, oh. uh, this girl akan jadi pengganti Nabil lah Faham uh -huh. <laughs> So, namanya adalah Medley, Medley Stock Dia dari Bordo 3 jam dari sini kalau naik train So, ya, yeah, dia dah sampai dekat train station so kita nak pick up dia Perfect timing Perfect timing Ya, yeah, sebab Nabil nak kencau Ya yeah. Tu yang nanti orang lain pula Tu lah dia masuk Ya kan Nabi ada sampai habis Tapi tu lah sebab Dia nak kena ni kan Kena Internship And dia punya employer Insist untuk that date je yang boleh So dia tak boleh buat apa-apa So kita pun kena respect dia punya decision And ya Okay Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> good, good. Sorry that we got you in in the camera. It's yeah. okay. I don't mind. So uh, actually, we walk from the our house. So it's not that far. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. So, shall we? Or oh, you want me to? Okay. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Let's go. So I from Bordeaux and Paris. I got to Montanas. Oh, the no. And then I went to Australia. Yeah, and then some Australia. Et alors du coup, c'est toi qui euh, qui vient de Berkeley. Ouais. Incroyable. Comment t'as fait pour aller dans cette école Bah. Euh... Non pas du tout. Kau faham tak apa dia cakap tadi? Faham? Faham? Kau tengok kau study Amerika? Tak Bien sûr, des guitaristes sont nuls Après je rejoue Après t'as des artistes... Les mecs qui sont mauvais, ils ont des prétentions à plus what song do you want to do? The same song. The same song. Same Second song. verse. Second verse. Yeah, the session is yeah, over. You can't listen to this now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Over. Take me back to where we started. I'm not the one who reformed your heart and you just the last cut. <laughs> What's that? Your personality is something I can learn to live in. Take me back to where we started. <laughs> I want to listen to the original. No, no, the original tune is way better. I want to.
to do that first. One, two, three, eat a masa awal. Before. Mamba. One, two, three. It's a no fun. It's a no some no lines. Okay. So don't let's jump on that. Jump on that. One, two. It's a no some no lines. It's a no some no lines. Well, we're good on the timing. Uh. Alright, moving on. Bees! Ada metal. Metal. Ini metal banget. Ini metal banget. Bees! 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 I want to lay here with my vocal. Alright. Satu part. Bawa kena aku balik Runa tak nak lihari bumi Ha, tu je. Ya. Bumi, ya. Ya, that's all. Ya. Alright. That's one. Okay, boleh? Wow. Ah, 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 ah. Mais lui l'autotune. Bah non, pas ça. Hello, hello, hello. Bawa kena aku pergi Rush. A little bit early. Rush. Yeah. Slow, slow. Bonjour Eric. Bonjour. Bonjour Eric. Eric enchanté. Eric bonjour. Je m'appelle Eric. C'est tout. <rire> Rien d'autre. Ton Instagram. Bonjour Eric. Bonjour Eric. Euh, ce que j'aime dans la vie c'est les chiens, <rire> les chats, ouais. les, les haricots, ouais. les chaussettes. <rire> noir, noir, noir. Les chaussettes noires. Et sinon, je suis là. Bon. What about you? Bonjour Nazrine. <rire> Ito Mache, Instagram Mache. Say. say everything you can say in French. Uh, All you learned this month. Bonjour tout le monde. 
So how was your experience being with those boys? You mean from the beginning? Yeah. So from the beginning, it's pretty funny how I met the boys actually. How? Uh, I met them because I was going to school uh, in Bali. Mm -hmm. And so they were playing with this band called Sunrise. They, they, had, um, they were touring in Indonesia with Sunrise. So they were, I, I went there to see Sunrise in a venue called Gimme Shelter. And then I saw them and I was literally like, what is that? Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> the show was so nice. So that's how I met them. And then I just posted something on Instagram and they, they replied to me and we stopped. We started talking, then I visited I visited them a few times in uh, KL, and that's how we became friends, ever since, yeah. So, and then we met like a bunch of times, I spent a lot of time with them in Malaysia, in KL, and then they had this recording uh, here in Paris, mm -hmm. and they asked me if I want to join, I was like, of course, because Chiang Luc, Captain Chiang can... So, so are you supposed to play with them or? I was supposed to play with th with them because right after this recording, uh, they were supposed to tour in Europe and mm. I was supposed to play bass. So I, I just learned all the songs while I was in, in Kea, but unfortunately the tour was cancelled. Mm -hmm. But maybe maybe next year or some yeah, sometimes some I would love to play, to play for them. I would really, really love to. So how is it being here with... It's OG. It was hard. Why? It was hard. <laughs> because because okay. France is hot during summer, but other than the weather, it was really, really nice. Because I haven't seen them in like two months before coming here. Mm -hmm. I didn't see them like in, in two months. And uh, it was so nice being a part of this, of this project. Uh, hanging with them every day. Mm -hmm. uh, and being here while they were um discovering for the first time friends so of course i had to explain a lot of things and translate and stuff and it was my pleasure to be here helping them and uh and also being here just looking at them playing recording and uh, in the creative process and also meeting their videographer one <laughs> the camera, right here hanging with the uh, rico is always fun so yeah it was such a nice experience and I'm pretty sad that I have to leave now so tomorrow yeah. I have my flight to Toulouse so I gotta pack all this mess why do you have to leave? because I'm starting a new job on Monday oh. so the guy called me he said he's starting on Monday and I have no choice so that's why tomorrow is Friday it leaves me like two days to get ready to get all my stuff ready for Monday so that's why but let's think about the, the 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 almost three weeks I spent with you guys, instead of thinking about these like five days I'm not spending with you, so yeah I'm so so, so happy and blessed to to be here. So how would you describe the this new album? The new album I would say it's it's definitely different from right. Bahtra and uh, Darmaga. How different? Uh, maybe not as heavy as. Dermaga maybe like softer but a lot of melody and they're introducing a lot of like traditional uh, Malaysian music mm -hmm. more than they've been doing before so it's definitely something that, that the people in Malaysia Indonesia they're gonna enjoy and you mix this with the the boys from Jungle Captain Chunk and their, yeah. their skills and stuff so I, I really feel like it's gonna be big not too heavy some songs are heavy don't get me wrong but the whole thing is going to be just super melodic and uh, really good. Cool the shit. lyrics, the music, everything is on point. Yeah, you enjoy being here, listening yeah. to all those processes, watching them record. Yeah, being a part of it. And it's, uh, it's really interesting to see how they work and uh, how m much tension they're putting into every detail. Like, even in the pre-production, like where ev usually no one cares about it like it's just like some kind of uh, ideas you put together to know what you're going to be doing after but like here even the pre-production the pre-production was like on point so clean so that just tells how uh, about like the whole album it's mm -hmm. going to be perfect I'm sure personally what do you think of SOG? 
personally not in terms of um band or music or something but yeah, people people real relationship i love them i love the boys even koyum and amsha i mean i only met amsha a few times he was really really nice to me koyum is super funny and the twins i think i have the the most special relationship with the twins because uh because every time I, uh, I I travel to Malaysia, they always invited me to stay with them at their house. So they they took me around KL or every show, everything they were doing in KL, and uh, so they really really took good care of me. So that's why I felt like I had to take care of them. Why they were first in Bali a few months ago when we were touring Bali. Mm -hmm. So I, I I took them in my place. I stayed with them, and here in France, of course, I had to be here for them because. Uh, it's like more than just friends. Like I really see them uh, uh, as my brothers. I really, really appreciate them. So that's uh, and then Rico. Rico is so nice too. I really like him. Always fun to hang with him. And uh, yeah, they're really, really nice people. They really care about everyone around them, and they really inspiring. They inspire people around them. So that's why I think uh, about SOG. Oh, are they guys. like are they like special to you? It's like yeah, first I really really look up to them because everything they they they've been doing in their life they they did it by themselves. So I really look up to them, and with a uh, with not a lot of things, not a lot of uh, money, not not a lot of things at all. They can make like really really big things. So I really respect that. I really respect that, and. Uh, they really care about ev everyone around them and uh, they showed so much like love to me attention so that's why i really i really like them like i can't explain how much are you gonna go to malaysia again oh definitely <laughs> so now i'm starting my this new job on monday he's gonna be doing maybe he's gonna be like six months and then after that i'll save some money and definitely come back to asia malaysia indonesia for a few weeks maybe and uh, see how it's going for the for you guys definitely sebenarnya Nabil akan stay sampai habis sebab tiba-tiba dia dapat call yang dia kena balik awal awal sebab dia kena start kerja this Monday Monday tak dia dah dia dah apply untuk ambil internship tu lambat tapi tak lepas so dia kena balik juga awal so actually everyone is not ready about this so kita orang pun macam unexpected nak nak lepas kan pun tak macam tak tak lah sedih juga kan sedih lah dia tolong banyak kot dia boleh tolong tolong banyak bila so far apa yang dia dah tolong kita makhir tolong selamatkan kita orang untuk sampai ke sini dia memudahkan segala-galanya Dia memudahkan segala-galanya Sebenarnya Usain. kalau Usain. tak ada dia Boleh je kita orang buat Cuma dia akan menyusahkan so. so bila dia ada tu Banyak benda urusan kita orang ni Dia orang kata kita orang tak banyak fikir Sebab ada benda macam handyman yeah. Which is yang benda kita orang sangat perlu kat, kat sini Which is orang yang boleh Able to speak French And a French who can speak French ya? Macam tu lah Macam uh, ada orang yang boleh jaga kita orang oh, oh, And macam contoh kalau kita nak jumpa orang mana bila dia tahu ada friend dengan kita orang tu tahu maksudnya orang tu tahu yang oh uh, dia ni terjaga gitu uh, so benda tu memudahkan lah semua benda tapi sekarang ya dia yeah, hmm. juga merapatkan yes. kita orang dengan Bert and juga Eric yeah. yes yes okay. sebab sebab this one yalah jurang macam Perbezaan bahasa tu yang sebenarnya Melimitkan kita orang dengan semua orang kat sini So bila ada dia ni Everything like senang Everything Kita senang get going with everyone Senang faham benda Bahasa kita dah belajar sikit so, yeah. A good friend of us yeah. A very good friend Ad, Ada ada sebab lah kenapa macam kita orang ni dah ditakdirkan dia dia boleh tengok SOG perform yang yeah, paling barai <laughs> yang 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 atas stage aku dengan adik gaduh setak lama nak setak lama nak post <laughs> uh, aku bangga dia waktu gaduh gaduh and, and time tu dia dah nak chow dah nah, dia, dia, dia nak chow dah tapi dia kata okey dah tengok one song dia kata itu sebab awak dia kata apa 
Nak balik Okay, tak Tol kat mana? Kat Bali Show tu kat Bali ha, Show tu dekat hmm. Bali So, kebetulan semua tu So, bagi bukan, aku, aku percayalah benda ni bukan kebetulan sebenarnya Benda ni dah ditakdirkan Aku tak tahu yang time tu yang aku akan pergi France pun Dan aku tak tahu pula benda ni semua akan jadi macam ni So, benda ni memang aku cakap, ish, benda ni dah tertulis So, aku believe there's gonna be, be, there's gonna be more Daripada aku, daripada pihak SOG dengan Nabil So, insyaAllah, kita tak tahu, just doakan yang baik-baik lah Antara uh, Apa orang kata hubungan Kita ni yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. Sedih lah sebenarnya sedih lah sebab, eh, Tapi selalu je berpikir KSOG dengan Nabil ni dah beberapa kali Jumpa dah berpisah So hmm. Dikira ni just another gay moment <laughs> <laughs> another, oh, yeah, another farewell another Sebab pisahan. Kalau <laughs> macam aku Aku dah selalu hantar Lebih TK by Itu perlu So yeah. Yeah, So yeah. This is another thing Tapi this one is different Sebab Kali ni dekat tempat dia Yeah, yeah. Dia yes, akan Kita takkan jumpa dia Dalam masa 6 bulan Yeah mm, Sebab dia, dia akan bekerja For 6 months Contract Jadi, jadi normal people mm. Dia takkan ada masa nak travel Jumpa kita apa Tapi dia dah janji dah Dia kena yeah. masa datang So After dia habis Internship dia Ya yeah. So yeah Bila dia habis internship Kita habis itu masa <laughs> Sorry lah Amba malam tu Bye. 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 Thanks a lot. Hey. Bye, Rick. <laughs> Bye, Rick. Bye. See you one.